Hunt for the wilder people. God damn it! Mm. <gasps> mm. Mm. Um, I guess can I give the little plot synopsis? Yeah, here? go, go for, for it, man. man. Why not? So we are introduced to our main character, whose name I don't remember. Ricky. 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 Ricky Gervais. Some, Ricky yeah, Bobby. Like that. Ricky. Uh, Ricky, Ricky Charles. Ricky Brown. I think it's Ricky Berwin. Something like that. Anyway, it's a kid. His name is Ricky. He's he's a little hoodlum, a little uh, a little juvenile delinquent. If yeah, you he's will. one fat fuck now, ain't he? <laughs> Guys, he's an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> he's an orphan, and he's in trouble with the law. And uh, and by the law, I mean child protected services or whatever they call it in that goofy ass country over there. Uh, this is set in New Zealand, by the way. Hey, say that yeah. to the rugby um, players. Anyway, rugby is a goofy sport. So yeah, anyway. Uh, and, and Why do they have such big footballs? Come on. Um, <laughs> easier to catch. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they got such big hands over there. Anyway. Yeah, not, not germane to the, to the conversation. Ricky gets sent to a farm with a lady who's very excited to raise him and Sam Neill who's very tired of running away from dinosaurs. <laughs> Fun fact, I watched Jurassic Park Dominion this week. Let's go. What, and that man. one also has Sam Neill in it. Anyway, it sure does. Also, I can tell, you can tell with Sam Neill that as he's getting older, he's getting worse and worse at hiding his uh, Australian accent when he speaks. So I yeah. think he's just starting to take movies where he is an Australian. Yeah. But anyway, he's like your typical old curmudgeonly farmer type, and he he doesn't like he thinks Ricky is kind of cringe with all his <laughs> yeah whoa yeah yo he's I'm a gangster. Ricky's very uh Ricky's very zoomerish very annoyingly much so. so um anyway the wife fucking dies <laughs> do they set it up at all no no not okay, at all she's it's just kind of yeah, okay. she's okay. fucking falls he over and dies I was guessing because like. I don't remember what else I was doing at the time. I was, uh, uh, who knows? But um, <laughs> I remember I was watching it, and all that happens with that is he walks around the corner, and then Sam Neill is crying over his wife. I'm like, ah, what? Huh? What? She's dead? Anyway. Yeah, this is what I did too. I had to like rewind 15 seconds. Like, what the fuck just happened? There's some like, yeah, Jackson, like freaked out. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I missed something. I'm like, you didn't miss anything. And he's like, oh, she just fucking died. I'm like, yeah. There's some somber music, I guess. <laughs> yeah. She, she, so she's fucking dead, and now Ricky is stuck with this old man. Ricky keeps running away and being a little hoodlum. I'm gonna be honest, I do think I missed them ending up in the woods. Is it just Ricky runs away, Samuel goes they're, out they're there? They're running they're away from Child Protective Services. Lost? Well, yeah, he went out there no, to... the Child Protective Services isn't looking for them before they get announced as lost, though. No, because they, they, no, that's no, the no, reason they got fucking... announced as lost, because they went to go get the kid. And yeah, the Ricky they're, they're, they're like runs off into go. the woods. He's like, "I'm gonna be a wilder people now," and then uh, he gets lost. So old man has to go find him. Wait, okay. So the the, the, the series... CPS sends a request saying that because he doesn't have the mom anymore, they're gonna go and pick him up and give him to a different adoptive family. He doesn't want oh. that to happen because he knows he's just gonna go back into like juvie. So he goes and runs away. The dad goes to find him to go bring him back so that he can you know give him to CPS, and then they decide to not do that. Gotcha, yeah. that makes sense. Anyway, so they're lost in the woods now. Um, the, the guy breaks his fucking ankle, and <clears throat> it is implied that they are out there for six weeks? Well, uh, at least. It's, it was actually probably... Because he, you talking he like, needs his ankle to heal, so they are stuck in that original campsite for six weeks, no, three weeks for three weeks for the ankle part. And then, okay. like, the rest of it, like, yeah, by the time they're done running away, it had been, like, a year at that yeah, point. Yeah, because there was a whole winter that went by. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, so, they, I guess they decide they can't go back to the farm, and so they're just gonna be out in the wilderness. Well, they're, they're being hunted now by CPS and mm -hmm. all they the are. hunters. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they're yeah. running around, there's a bunch of misadventures... Uh, and then, uh, and then it kind of ends. And it's happy-ish. That is the American dream. I feel like you <laughs> didn't Zealand watch this movie, Tanner. I did see it, I just, uh, Why'd we let you yeah, do the awesome description of it, even though you didn't know <laughs> half of the movie? <laughs> you, were, you, you were so eager to do it as well. And then you're like, oh, well, you know, they, know. they wander around the woods, you he know, the... He the fucking, the horse girl, who yeah, is now Yeah, he meets the horse family. girl. Yeah. Ricky isn't very good at talking, and so he makes us... <laughs> Seem like Sam Neill is a pedophile, you know. <laughs> and then yeah, you forgot stuff. about the Doomsday dude, crazy Sam, Psycho oh, yeah, Sam, Psycho Sam. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
Yeah, that was that shit was crazy. Also, you forgot the the yeah. best part of the movie. His dog, Tupac. Come on, man. Oh yeah, yeah. He's got. I a thought dog you were. I thought you were gonna reference the part where the boar fucking mauls that yeah, one. Boar. I mean, that's pretty fun like, too. Like what the fuck? And then no, it's not. The it's fucking down. terrible. I, I I told Nico and Jackson I would le- legitimately rank this movie a rank lower because of that shit. <laughs> yeah, don't start shaking dogs. during that scene. Not true. I just don't like when furious. dogs die in movies. You all read Milo and Otis. So upset. <laughs> Milo and Otis. <laughs> no, dude, they killed so many cats and dogs to film oh, that movie. You should watch <laughs> Homeward Bound. Mm-hmm. Oh, or yeah. like the fucking Snow Puppies movies, guys. Oh boy, <laughs> yes. no one have a field day with that one. Well, what was that anyway. one movie where the dog just dies and gets reincarnated over and over? All dogs again? go to heaven. I have no idea oh, what you're talking about. No, there it's you. not all dogs go to Marmaduke? heaven. It's a live action movie. Beethoven. No. Beethoven two. No. It was called like it was called like a dog's mission or some bullshit. Like yeah. Beethoven's yeah. third. Like they literally just show the dog. Anyway, guys. Beethoven's fourth. <laughs> Hunt for the wilder people. Please. Beethoven's fifth. Uh, I can keep going. I really There's only more. Of have. Them. I really only have three notes on this movie. Okay. One, this kid is a retard. Okay. And two, it is funny how much how much this has escalated. It went from them being lost in the woods to this. It, I think it eventually hits international news. Yeah. That it is a manhunt for these two people. I mean, they had this and like gone people for start being year. like, dude, they're fighting for freedom. They're fucking. They're putting it to the man. Yeah. I hate CPS. Like they took my kids grand from me. a day hunting this fucking kid down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, wait a second, this is just up. Now, it's just up. Eh, no. Eh. Mm. There's no Fat balloon. Asian-y kid? He's not Yeah, but he's old not... man? Yeah, but the, the kid from That's Up like isn't a fucking orphan. Lost he's just a boy the scout. Jungle? They're not really lost. I... I don't... I don't see it. Think about... I think, think there's more think to this it? movie than you're giving it credit, Tanner. Yeah. Well, I, I will also say, Up is a better film, Tanner. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Maybe don't besmirch it like that. Now, I think we the biggest see. thing, the elephant in the room here, guys, with this movie... Is Ricky. <laughs> yes. God damn. Damn. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> you're going after Tanner, this kid. Tanner, whenever yeah. I make a fat joke, you're like, that's really not cool, man. What's wrong with you? Come on. But you can just <laughs> go can around call making those, huh? can a 13-year-old fat. <laughs> Listen, as a fat man myself, of course I'm allowed to call people fat. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, the big thing about this film, guys, the fucking timeline for it is just crazy. <laughs> like, sure there are is. constantly moments where, like, yeah, it's been a few months now. Oh, man, a couple weeks just passed by. Wow, it's been a whole year since I've seen you. Now, ain't it? Like, no, uh, fucking... Ricky should look very different by this point. The old man should have a big old beard at some point in this I film to like really show that, yeah. the times been progressing. Yeah. But we just, that they look exactly the same. Yeah, I they're think eating he good in the neighborhood and, out in the wilderness, man. Yeah, he starts at like mean, nine and ends at fourteen. It looks the exact same throughout the entire movie. They found the fountain of youth. That's why. They're- <laughs> True. It was just out and about in there. I mean, if you guys can find a way to magically age children within the course of a year, then let let me know. But I well, think kind of just make them sit there. there. There's you ways they could have done it, but they didn't even try. Is the big thing. Yeah, they could have done something. Also, they didn't have to say that it, they've been there that long. That's True. also another thing. Yeah, that all could have been like a six month endeavor, and I still I don't really think it would have been a worse movie because of it. Because six months is still a long ass fucking time, and that would have been much more realistic. With everything, so that's just you think me. at a certain point the authorities would just give up? Yeah, I think that well, was also one like of the a, jokes. The, in the to movie. their knowledge, it's like a child has been kidnapped. Okay, they're not going to yeah. give up. <laughs> well, yeah, Tanner, they're not American police. Goddamn, Ooh. got him. So, so we we obviously celebrate the kid's like tenth birthday near the beginning of the movie. At what point we do, do they? Yeah, like she's no, fucking it's his thirteenth little... birthday. That's when he gets what? Tupac. Yeah. Then the, they the say he's a teenager for, now. Then where the hell did we go for? And never mind, it's not important. I thought they gave him his fucking tenth. His tenth birthday is like the second thing they did with him when they got him. No, it was his thirteenth birthday. What? Yeah. Did you count how many candles? I thought there was just a fucking ten on. I'm gonna like rewatch this now. <laughs> anyway, all right, you well. agreed with me at the start. Why? What? Did you like go back and look at it yourself? No. I, I wanted to make you look like you. a fool. He's so. <laughs> 
He got you again. <laughs> now, when we were going to this movie, I was quickly able to sort of discern what, like, the, the sort of thing about it would be, you know? It's it's uh, this child and this old man growing together, you know, starting to uh, form a bit of a bond, coming to love each other. Now, with those types of films, you know, uh, films about, like, fatherhood and stuff like that, found family, allegedly... Those are the types of films that men tend to cry the most to, you see, guys. Now, did any of you cry to this film? No, no I was not cry to this film. Yeah, not even, yeah, not I, even it was... I was weeping for an hour. <laughs> I feel like it was definitely trying to go into that sort of angle of, like, this is going to make you emotional, but it just didn't at any point. Do you, you really know, think that? Didn't. I didn't feel that way assume... at any point during the movie. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like the point trying to go where you guys... comedy. Yeah. I feel like the point where you guys lost the track of when the wife dies, that means it's not emotional. <laughs> have you even seen I the movie, Kyler? That. that definitely seemed to be quite the emotional yeah. scene. Yeah. It was just an old man fucking crying over his dead wife. Well, you guys kept yeah. saying, like, oh, his wife died, as if you didn't notice. I feel like emotional <laughs> Yeah, it movie just blew would, past know, it because I don't think that's what died. it was. I don't know. I thought I thought it had, like, maybe sad elements, but I think, like, most of it was targeted towards a comedic view. Yeah, it was, was like it? sad. It wasn't funny at all. Really? It was, it was sad for like it was sad for like literally a he minute shot until the it. Ass, Nico, that wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. Literally, the wife dying though. It was sad for like a minute, and then it flashes to the fucking the wake or whatever where they're having the funeral or whatever, and fucking Taika Waititi is doing the, the eulogy or whatever. Yeah. And he's fucking it up, and he's making it kind of funny and awkward at the same time. So it's like you can't really feel sad at that point. I agree. I'm just saying. I just think that there was a lot of playful banter between Bricky and the dad. And I appreciated yeah. it. Mm -hmm. He gave me something I never had as a child. A dog. On that fun note, <laughs> does anyone else have any things to say about the film? I don't no, know. I thought really. the movie was generally entertaining and it, it, was, it was just a little silly little movie. I never really took this movie super seriously at any point. so I, I, wasn't. Thought, I, th I thought it was a nice little romp. Mm -hmm. It's alright, cool. Well, so we're going on to the it? rankings here. Dylan, what would you they give this movie? Uh, oh, man. That's a good question. I really did enjoy this movie. I didn't really find anything wrong with it, except for the dog dying. It wasn't even the main um, dog, though, so. I know, that's true. It was still a Yeah, we don't dog even know that dog's that name. That was some secondary it dog BS. It was, it was Zig. The dog's name was Zig. That's not even true. Yes, it is. It was Zag. Whatever, man. <laughs> Look at you remembered something, Tanner. Uh, uh, anyway, for, I, I I don't remember them calling it that at any point, but I do remember him writing the name. He was writing it on the rocks. And he's like, "What's that say?" And he's like, "It says Zag." Oh yeah. Also, anyway. the dad mm -hmm. couldn't read, and that was funny. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Oh, yeah. Why was that uh, funny? Because Ricky would make fun of New Zealand. Yeah. What kind of an idiot doesn't know how to read? That would definitely wasn't New Zealand. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna give what do you this. Mean? Wait, 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 wait. It's it's in New Zealand. No, no, no his, his accent. accent. Yeah. What are you talking no, about? This close. is what Ricky just... sounds like. Uh, you, no, you sound yeah, like you a Cockney orphan. Uh, -uh yeah. he's dead on. That's exactly. <laughs> this is me. I give Ricky. this movie an S tier. <laughs> no way. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. God. Yeah. Bill wants to take the crown from you, apparently, Tanner. I really like this. I I really like this movie. I thought it was super enjoyable. I would definitely watch this movie again and recommend it. I would recommend it to people and then watch it with them. He's lying about not crying. Hmm. I cried uh, Nico, on the what are you going to give it? C+. Plus. Damn, okay. what the fuck? That does seem a bit overly harsh, but Jackson? Uh, B-. minus. What did Dylan give it again? I totally missed okay. it. I S. gave it an S. An S, okay. Hunter? I gave it an A-. minus. Let's go. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm about on par with Hunter. I'm giving it a B+. Plus. And okay. I'll give it one gallon of mint chocolate chip ice cream out of five gallons of grapeseed oil. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I'll take the mint chocolate chip ice cream, I guess. I actually used some grapeseed oil today. That's crazy. Hey, no. seed oils are bad for you. They make you into a liberal. But it's good for steaks, yeah. so... I don't know what that means. Anyways, B-plus movie. 